Hello folks, after watching my latest video, you are probably scanning a lot of frequency right now, but I wanted to actually update you with some neat things that happen today. So let's make it short. Um, I will actually run the tool and then also to, to show you that I'm not cheating at all. I will show you that, for example, in here, I'm using an Ubuntu 22.04, uh, the Jamie one, and I'm not using any Docker container. So now, for example, if I'm just running the tool like that, Sorry, sudo up. I will also use another frequency, like the one on which it was crashing directly, like this one, and using the downlink feature. Let's run it and see what happens. At the moment, no crashes. Let's wait. And yeah, now we see there's like still some information that I've gotten from there. So then, for example, if I want to look at it directly with, with Wireshark, I can look at it with Wireshark and see, for example, a lot of information right now here. So that's great. So after that, we will also see the uplink working. So let's do that. We will just go in there uh, and then we put the uplink function in there. So with the uplink, uh, if we remember correctly, we had this frequency in use. Okay, so no crashes still. Okay, uh, but in here we don't have like a lot of information because uh, we don't have like a strong uplink signal coming. So basically, we'll probably just see like you know some basic stuff like some basic up paging records as you can see, but that's it. So uh, to demonstrate this functionality and because you also you ask in your questions. Uh, I will also set up a little uh, environment that will also give you the ability to see, you know, for example, just one target coming to the network. So now um, I will also use another frequency and I will use a frequency which is a little bit different right now. So let's see what is possible to see in this frequency. Now on the uplink, right? So now I'll with uh, with the USP and the, with LT sniffer, I will sniff only one frequency uh, that is um, that is used, for example, just for for a lab. So now I will put the targets inside the lab. Wait a second. Up. Up, so we we'll probably see some changes after. We have to wait a little. Okay, so so yeah, now we have something. So we have like number one in RTI uh, sixty-five, and so we have something that should probably be interesting. So we have only one target in there, and we have now a success of. 98% which is quite good I mean better than before and now if we looking at, at the pickup we see for example there's like some error connection setup right we can also maybe spot for example the TMSI for example for attach requests in here uh, there's like also for example other things that we can also spot the capabilities of the UE uh, we can also have the IMEI, right? For example, Oop, not in there, sorry, in there, actually. So you have the mobile identity, so that means that now you have also the number that is used, the, I mean, the identify, I mean, the identity of the, the, the uh, mobile phone that you are using. That is unique normally, 
normally uh, because sometimes you can also see collisions uh, you have also maybe the MSI right so for example in there maybe like I will look at uh, 001 like that directly up okay so directly we have the mobile identity MSI that is also shown but if you don't want to grab all these informations I mean there's some ways in fact uh, looking at this pickup sometimes is also difficult because we don't want to search everywhere you can also make your tools around the pickup in order to extract important informations but there's also some human readout ways to do that I mean thanks to uh, the authors of LT uh, sniffer so for that as shown before and it was not working as I wanted actually uh, to work to make it work because we didn't had like a lot of information about UEs yesterday but let's use for example now on this environment on this lab environment uh, the security API so I'm using for example all features of the security APIs and let's see what we can actually extract so I will just take the phone out of the lab and then make it back so like that we'll see the whole process of attachments and so we have also the identity response that exactly extracts you the uh, MSI so you can collect MSIs like that directly and so as you know the MSI of the mobile phone I mean the mobile phone of the, of the SIM card I mean, you know, at some point your target, then you can also look at uh, the MSIs that are exchanged in order to track it, for example. I mean, this is just an example, right? But there's like much more things that you can do uh, with that. So yeah, basically, this is it. I mean, as I promised, it was a short video. I wanted to show you the uh, updates that were made today. So you can see that first of the uh, authors of the tool are pretty reactive and this is the end of this video i hope you like it and i wish you a nice weekend guys hacking scanning a lot of frequency so then you can comment out and you can put all your feedbacks in the comments right if you also uh, like this video don't hesitate to thumb up subscribe on this channel i mean everything that will encourage me to make much more content right so thank you guys see you later bye bye